Alright, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the Aston Villa career mode. Today we'll start off the season in the Barclays Premier League with an away match against Bournemouth. And yeah, we've done a lot of transfers in the last episode. Uh, I again forgot how many it was, I think it was like 11 or something. We have a pretty huge squad now, so I'm looking to sell on a few older players. But for now, let's just get into this match and hopefully get the first three points of the season. Oh yeah, and if you've seen the first episode, uh, I told you guys I was going to play on World Class, but I actually changed the difficulty to Legendary because I played in other career modes that I just played for myself. And I just couldn't win to save my freaking life on World Class. And then I switched it to Legendary and it started getting better. So I know it doesn't sound logical at all, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play on Legendary. Right from the start. Orna. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, so let's try it again, I guess. Second time's the charm, right? Oh my god. Well, good thing I have a backup file. So, is it gonna work now? I don't believe this. Alright, lads, I really don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I guess let's just sim the match. It's very unfortunate because I don't like simming in my YouTube series, but... I guess we're gonna have to do that. Looks like Veritao just picked up a goal in the first minute and of course we concede in, in the ninth. Come on, can we pick up a goal? In the closing minutes or are we gonna... Oh, it's gonna be a draw. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, so one all draw against newly promoted Bournemouth and I hope we can get into the next game or else this career mode has come to a very, very fast and pathetic end. But first, let's get this training session done. Let's see how our guys are gonna do. And oh, Grealish got an A, and he's now up to a 73 overall. Decided to upgrade his long passing because, as you can see, it's not very good. And on that, pretty solid performances. All right, so it looks like we're finally gonna get Christian Wharton into the team as a backup goalkeeper. And of course, with training, I'm looking to make him a starter within maybe the next two years. We have a transfer offer from Bristol City for Hepburn Murphy for one year loan. And since we have so many strikers now, I think it's a very wise decision to do that. If we get too many injuries, we can still uh, recall him. And Felipe Senderos has been sold to Norwich. We get 675k and we got rid of some dead wood. Alright, so question is, can we get into a game now? Please. This doesn't look good. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, wow. Finally. So, for some reason, we couldn't play the Bournemouth game. But it looks like this Man United game is alright. So, unfortunately, the very first game is not played. It's just sim, but whatever. So, here we are at Villa Park, taking on Manchester United in our very first game played match with the side. It's going to be very interesting. And here's our starting 11 and as you may have noticed I changed the formation. I now got a 4-4-2 diamond uh, because I realized Veritard Grealish and James Wood Prowse uh, they can all uh, they can all play uh, as a in a central role and I think uh, with that narrow diamond it's going to give us an edge in the passing game and there's Man United side with Valdez in goal, interestingly. And yeah, I also went with Gestede up front together with Ayu because Gestede scored on the weekend and I wanted to try him out in game. Oh, and there's the first chance for United. Three minutes in and already Brad Guzan has to pull out a save. So we're looking for Gestede. Oh, well, it's not gonna go to him. That's miles offside, but wow, it's still a terrible tackle. If that wouldn't have been offside, it would have been a pen. Oh, this could be it, this could be it. Oh, what a save, Brad Guzan. Denying Memphis the pie of a goal. That was a world-class save by the American. Oh, yes. Loads of space for Grealish. It's not the fastest, so Valencia's gonna catch up with him. Oh, come on. Cross it in. There we go. Oh, if only it would have been Gesede. Oh yeah, speaking of Jack Grealish, he actually chose to play for England, which I kind of expected. But still, some pretty big news 
from the youngster. Oh, Amavi. Amavi, make the run. Are you? Yes. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. This is a chance. Ward Prowse. No! I took too long. This was a golden opportunity to go up 1-0. And I just squandered it. Fuck. I swear to God. Passes over two yards are the hardest thing to do in FIFA. Like, look at that. Alright, and there's half time. So far, a pretty solid performance by us. We did allow a couple chances for United, but also had a few big ones for us. So, I'm um, very curious to see what the second half is going to bring to us. Hopefully, we can stand strong at the back and maybe score on the counter. Oh, yes. No, where do you pass that? Right, so I've just brought on Douglas Coutinho for Gestede and also Charles Hill for Jack Relish. So, let's see what we can do right here. Oh, that's a vicious foul. Oh, and he's gonna get sent off. Matteo Tarmian is gonna get sent off. Boy, this could be a big boost here in the last 15 minutes of this game. Wow. Oh, I actually didn't see the ball for a second. It was actually a pretty nice free kick. I put way not enough power on it. James Ward Prowse with the corner. Oh, nobody can get to that. And United now have a chance at the counter as Rooney to Rojo to Herrera. Back to Rooney. Ooh, it's some nice play right there. Amavi oh, get to that. Oh my god, those passes. Oh my god! No, no. No fucking way. I just fuck off, Rooney! Fuck right off! Freaking celebration into the camera. Oh, I can't believe that. We've, we've done so well, and then I do this. Fucking hell! Cross it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, yes! The equalizer! Unbelievable stuff! Oh, you scores it! And what a cross that was! Beautiful! And the run by Ayu. And we draw level in the matter of seconds. Jordan Ayu, get in there, son! Guzan! What the fuck are you doing? Alright, rest below the whistle. So, we won our draw against Man United. It's really not a shame. The only shame is the goal we conceded. Which is absolutely stupid by me, but... I've got to take the blame there. And we got a point against one of the best sides in the Premier League, so... I ain't even mad. A transfer from Dundee FC, a two-year loan for Sarkic. Or Shar Sarkic? I hope I'm saying that right. Um... He's gonna go out on loan for two years to Dundee because we, we're just not gonna use him. First training session for Christian Walton and let's see how he's gonna do. He's got a B, very decent. All the others getting a C. And here we have a transfer offer for Kieran Richardson who I definitely want to sell. So let's see if we can get possibly two million. They've come back to me and said they're gonna offer 1.5 million which I guess it's alright. Just really want to get rid of him because he's just not gonna be part of the team, really. And now we got a transfer for Kozak. This is going perfect. Seems like I can get rid of all the people, all the players that I want to get rid of. Welcome to Selhurst Park on a rainy day here in London as we're gonna take on Crystal Palace. So here's Crystal Palace starting 11, of course, with Bolasi, Shamak, and Connor Wickham, and of course, Kabai. How could I forget about him? They do have a very decent squad, but I think this is a game we can win. As you can see, I've done, I've made a lot of changes. Ayorfa is in, Clark is in, uh, Agbonnoho is in, and now Greedish is at Cam, actually, instead of uh, left centre mid. Oh, yes. Put it through. Put it through. Yes, come on. Oh, no. Oh, a big chance right there. Should have put that in. Oh, what a ball. Gabby Agbonnoho. Pass it back, 
And it's still not in. Oh, come on, Veritaud. Oh, no, I thought of it. Wow. Wasn't that a pass back? Oh, wow. Again, a terrible tackle by the CPU. And again, it's a red. Unbelievable. And it's Yedinak. It's going to get sent off in the first half. Unbelievable. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What was that for a shot? Ah, shoot. That was the first chance for Crystal Palace. You see, that's just all they do. Run down the line and cross it in. As if it was FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. Ah, oh, put them under pressure. There we go. This has to be it. This has to be it. Oh my god, what a terrible shot. I just should have passed it over. I don't even care that it's a tramp goal. Oh yes. Oh yes. There is out. Yes, it's in there. Finally we score. Finally, this goal is so overdue. And Veritas the hero. Also, there's Sanchez with the ins with the assist who I've brought on earlier. And it's just a quality finish right there by the Frenchman. Yes, man. And there we go. First three points of the season. And also, uh, first three games undefeated. Five points. Out of a possible nine, I like to say it's a very solid start. And yeah, we beat Crystal Palace away from home. That's a big one because Palace have a pretty decent side. And it's Veritaud with the only goal of the day, even though we could have scored at least two or three. Karen Richardson has been sold to Sunderland for 1.5 million, and we get 1.3 million for our transfer budget, which isn't. Too much uh, anyway so I'm probably not gonna buy any more players unless I have matched the 3 million counter offer and I'm now in contract talks with Kozak uh, that's very nice oh you should we get Hazard and also a transfer offer again from Leicester City this time for Joe Cole and even though it's quite sad to just sell him well, I really don't need him and Kozak has been sold to Leicester very nice. Very nice. Right, lads, that is it for this episode. Next time we'll have this Capital One Cup game against Ipswich. Also a game against Sunderland. And transfer deadline day. So a very exciting episode next time. This was the start of the season. A pretty successful one, I'd like to say. Let's actually check where we are on the table. We're in 8th. That's very decent. Uh, undefeated so far. One win, two draws. Like a few other teams. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.